Good afternoon everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So today I'm taking you on an exciting uh, trip, probably one of my last rides of the season. I decided I've shown you everywhere around, but haven't taken you to our best city in Ontario, which is Toronto. So without further ado, let's go ahead and ride to the beautiful city of Toronto today and I'll show you around. So I'm about 10 minutes uh, to reaching to, to the Toronto city. Uh, maybe in the far you can see the CN Tower there as well. And let's talk about Toronto today. Beautiful city of about 7 plus million people, full of multicultural and amazing people everywhere you go around. One thing to know if you don't is that Toronto is the capital of Ontario. So Ontario is the province of Canada and Toronto is the capital. You will see the high-rise buildings in Toronto, beautiful places to eat around and some amazing restaurants, you know, depending on what you want. Thai, Japanese, you know, Asian food or, or anything else, even fast food, Arabic food, you name it, you will get it here. I know many friends and family who drive down from US in summer to come and enjoy here in Toronto and enjoy the amazing food as well. So if you are ever thinking to come down to Toronto, make sure to not miss out on the amazing food places. Maybe if you are interested, I'll make a separate video with uh, all the food places and you know, shopping places to go around in Toronto. But for now, just to let anyone know, you, there, there's a shopping mall, Eaton Center here. Uh, you have the beautiful lakeshore, which I'll be riding down to now. In summer, you can ride a bicycle there and, you know, walk around. A, lo a lot of things to do. You know, you never get have a dull day when you are... Um, riding or even you know down here to walk in summer then from toronto you can go to the center island now the center island is are the islands in the center you know just maybe i can show it to you right now but you go there in a ferry it's about a 10 minute uh, ferry ride i think that takes you to uh, the toronto uh, center islands you can spend a nice day there in summer, you know, and it's it's absolutely fun. Yeah, I'm here. This is the first year I would say because of COVID, we haven't been to Central Island. I haven't even come down much here, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm usually here a lot in summer, walking around, you know, visiting the Central Island with family or even the lake here. As you see, we have entered. This is the Gardner Expressway on my left. I've taken the lakeshore right now, going towards the lakeshore to show it to you. But on the left is the Gardner Expressway and all the tall high-rise building of Toronto, you know, have started. R on my right, I don't know if you can see or not, is the beautiful CN Tower. You can visit the CN Tower this time of the year, mostly in summer when you can even do an edge walk. Uh, if you don't know what an edge walk is, is basically you go up to a certain floor, go outside the CN Tower and walk. The only thing that I would say you won't like about Toronto is the potholes and the roads. The roads and the potholes in Toronto are just absolutely worse. This is one of the reasons why, you know, many <laughs> don't like riding or driving here. But you can see on my right is the Toronto Lakeshore. Uh, people are walking, you know, jogging here in summer, cycling here, even a lot of uh, cycles there. So you can rent the bicycles from uh, straight down there if you can see it. You know, the bicycles with the wheels have the green uh, cap or something on it. Uh, here, yep, on my right. So these are the bicycles. You can just, you know, 
punch in your credit card and uh, pick up one take it for a ride come back drop here or drop anywhere so you see this is the lake here you see a lot of people uh, running walking you know riding enjoying their time and this is how typically it is like I said there's never a dull day riding in you know or even walking in Toronto especially on a good day this is the place you want to be if you are ever going to the center island you can even rent canoes so they have canoes and kayaks that you can rent and ride around uh, the center island so on my left you see the Gardner Expressway which is the main expressway that takes you into Toronto uh, from outside it's on my left but I've taken the Lakeshore Road uh, to show you how beautiful the Lakeshore is and it stretches a lot about few kilometers I don't know exactly how far uh, how many kilometers it stretches but like you have seen you can you know keep riding cycling so a lot of cyclists you will see a lot of people jogging running and definitely a beautiful place to be uh, here in summer winter this place is typically very quiet but that's because of the snow and you know other things one of the places to visit while you are visiting Toronto is also the Dunda Square <laughs> the Dunda Square is like uh, New York's Times Square so that's how it is you know it's a very happening place you have the Eden Center on one side you have a lot of stores around a lot of places to walk and visit beautiful place to sit and relax as well spend uh, some time there also very close by to the uh, Dunda Square and Eden Center in Toronto uh, is the Toronto City Hall as well so you can walk by there and see the old and new City Hall buildings you know and enjoy uh, the site as well Toronto Museum is another place to visit Ripley's Aquarium is another place to visit so plenty of things to do if you're a tourist down here in Toronto uh definitely you know a place to visit ride around you know park motorcycle parking is uh, not never an issue i would say uh, i've been uh, to toronto not many times but few times that i've never parking motorcycle there so even if you're riding down here um you shouldn't have an issue parking on the roadside you know where it's you will you will often notice there are a lot of motorcyclists who have parked at a certain place i typically park next to them and you know it's never an issue that's the beautiful uh, cn tower you can probably see it uh, now much clearer and better than before beautiful place my brother-in-law used to live next to uh, the cn tower in one of the condos there and I remember uh, visiting him and always admiring his balcony used to be facing the CN Tower and wow what a view what a view you have some nice hotels uh, surrounding the CN Tower as well so you know you can come down and stay there just be careful a lot of cyclists typically in summer a lot of pedestrians walking in summer so that is something you know you need to be careful about buses trams trains in Toronto are available you know wherever you need to go uh, I don't think you'll have an issue uh, coming back I'll come on the gardener so you will enjoy the view of you know the city view even better right now I've taken the lake shore uh, and that's why it's a different view for you if you take a ride from here you see the sign says Toronto Island and harbor front center these are two harbor front is a beautiful place to walk right is you know you can take ferries for Central Island like I was mentioning uh, that's what uh, both the places take you I've grown up in uh, city and city life was very important to me but uh, since I moved to Canada about uh, 10 uh, years back um, 
and I live in GTA, which is the greater Toronto area, which is uh, not Toronto. My house is about uh, 60 kilometers from here, uh, about 40 kilometers for Tor from Toronto City, uh, 40 miles, sorry, from Toronto City Centre. So I don't live, you know, in the central uh, Toronto, Toronto area, uh, city area but a bit outside and when i come here i always feel like i'm a visitor every time i come here there's something new I've, i'm i'm always very uh focused i would say on the road and uh even what's happening around you know trying to be safe uh, making sure you know there's no pedestrian crossing or it's just you get used to living a little bit further outside the city uh, you know with not the, the the proper city life I would say I don't know how to put it in the right words but I think yeah that's what I mean like it's it's you you miss that life but you don't miss it so that's the situation <laughs> so on top of me this bridge is the gardener that I was talking about we'll go a bit further and then I want to show you something very special that is the reason for me bringing here and I will will take you down further I'll take a right turn and then there is a, a view that I want you all to see you know through my lens port area port of Toronto is where I'm heading this is a bridge We'll cross this bridge, turn right, not on this traffic light, I think the one after, and then I reach my destination, what I wanted to show you guys. So I finally arrived here, that's the Toronto port straight down that you can see there, and without further ado, let me show you the view that I did bring you here for there you go that's the beautiful skyline of toronto cn tower beautiful buildings and here's the lake absolutely beautiful view if you're down in toronto this is a place to be benches here sit enjoy people bring their lunch you know breakfast have it here and enjoy this beautiful skyline of toronto in case anyone wants to know which street this is where you get this beautiful Toronto skyline view it's called Paulson Street port area of Toronto so Paulson Street you can see the sign there P O L S O N Street and this you come down here sit straight down there and enjoy the beautiful view let's ride now and this is the Gardner West I'm getting on the Gardner now and this takes us in between the buildings that are facing on the lakeshore and uh, the buildings on my right which is where the CN Tower is and the other you know Toronto high-rise buildings for someone who has not been to Toronto uh, they think uh, it's quite scenic for them with buildings you know left right and you have the you're driving on the Gardner Expressway uh, but since we ride or you know drive here quite often it's not so I thought you know a good way to end this video is by taking you all you know driving on the Gardner Expressway uh, and showing you the buildings left right you see as we get in the center the CMN Tower comes right in front. This is a much better view than what it was, you know, when I was driving on the lakeshore. One thing as a reminder is that this is a pretty congested area. Uh, depending on the time of the week, uh, when you are driving down here, uh, it's pretty packed. You see the way it is? I feel it's a little bit better today, but typically it is uh, pretty bad, yeah? The way it is here, like this. On my right down here, the space, I don't know if you can make out or not, but that's where the GO train, you know, it's uh, lines. So GO train lines run from here, that's our 
local trains that you know take us from different areas also some of the regional trains go from here like uh, trains to Montreal or even you know if you're going towards Eastern Canada construction is a common thing that you will be seeing here whenever you ride down so I'm not surprised don't be surprised as well if you are uh, you know driving or riding down to Toronto see the Google Maps is showing me 52 minutes uh, 58 kilometers to my house uh, which is about 40 miles like I said but that's not an issue I have to go back home it's good you know one of the last days to enjoy riding before the snow hits the ground and the bike is grounded sort of for the next uh, four months this year has been pretty good apart from COVID that we still got to ride in November typically November we if there are times we do get a snowstorm and uh, you know the riding season is over I typically don't ride after the first salt is laid on the ground after that even if it's a good day unless it rains before it and the roads are clear I tend not to ride you know once the salt is laid Just since the washing uh, the bike after the salt is laid, if I do come back, becomes very hard. The water is very cold and it's not that convenient, I would say. Beautiful view of the buildings. Once, right now, we'll pass on the right, that's the Scotia Bank Arena, I believe. And then the CN Tower, you can see right up there. Uh, If you haven't seen the edge walk uh, on CN Tower, you should Google it or go back to my old videos and you can see I posted a video before when I did see edge walk. That was back in I believe 2011 or 2012, around that time. So it's been about 8 years when I did the edge walk. Alright, so that's the view. Rogers Center on my ride and CN Tower up there. I don't know how much the lens can cover, but that's a pretty close view of the CN Tower. This traffic is going to stay like this. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about Toronto, if you're riding down here or you know planning to drive down here as well. Um, but till next time, ride safe, take care, and I'll talk to you soon.